Alright, let's try this again. Live commentary on DM2 versus Vevictus. 3, 2, 1, go. So I'm gonna have, this is DM2 of course. The slowest map in 101. It's also the only 101 map that's also played in 4 and 4. Just to give you an idea. So now I have the typical start here. I have the yellow, so I'm gonna grab the red. Oh, he's got the red. So now he has both reds. I can trap him here though hopefully get a kill and he actually even ran out of rocket ammo there now I can trap him here and really in an official setting this kind of game would be already lost because the first frag just means so much that you it's hard for you to get back but in a friendly match you can actually have some fun yeah, as you can see, I'm going to town here on this guy who, uh, to his credit, you know, this is, I think this is his first QW game ever. He's from the other Quake scenes, and he's been so kind as to help me do this live commentary thing. Alright, well, I'm going to let him go that time and just grab this mega that's been sitting here for a while now. So, okay, so what's the idea on this map? Well, this area is the so-called camp area. This is, has the right armor and the mega health. And also that rocket pack that I just picked up. And you can sit there as long as you want. Now, that rocket jump is a bit advanced, so you might not want to try it out if you're just a beginner. But it does help you grab both mega health quickly. So now, where is my opponent? It's kind of hard. I think I heard a tele teleport. Yep, I did. And now I might... Actually, oh, I'm low on health here, so I might lose. I gotta be careful. And okay, that's a good tactic always. Plus back and plus forward. Which basically translates to backing up and shooting a rocket. And you know it works. Oh, and he's gonna jump into a lava there if you heard that. So let's see, I can pursue him here. Oh, he's putting up a good fight now, so. Even though he's down 7 frags, he's not giving up, which is a good sign. And then I'm going to give him a little frag there just to keep him enticed. And, you know, on this map, you don't want to play around because you can get spawn frag very rapidly in this area. There's quite a lot of frags here. So yeah, I'm going to see if I'm going to put a little, a little fast one on him. Now he's going the other way. So what I want to do is want to go down here into the teleporter. I don't want to be cut off and spend any more time dying. So I'm going to teleport up and here is my rocket launcher. So that's what I was aiming for. I want a weapon. Now that I have a weapon, I can grab this mega health. So beginner players are usually not keen on controlling all the mega health on this map, which is the key to victory. You got to control the mega health because they're the ones that give you an edge. Just because there's so much armor here. And oh, that's a very nice fight by my opponent. I think I got him pretty low, but I just couldn't finish him off. So it's now 6 to 2, fine. So again, the same move. I went down into the teleporter, and I got this rocket launcher. That's really. If you spawn on this side of the map, that's what you have to do. Now, I think he's somewhere in the red health, at uh, the red armor and the mega health area. So let's see. I think he actually went away try and find me to kill me so I'm gonna get this red armor once it spawns there it is so he has both the red and the mega it looks like let's see if I can trap him yep there he is now am I using wall hack no I am not right there is a nail gun pack that he picked up and so I was able to predict that he was there before he even showed up so that's a lesson that you don't want to make up too many sounds and you want to be quiet and in fact a lot of top players see the snail gun pack they will actually walk around the map and they will pick up all these snail gun packs to go up to 200 and like this one here now another tactic here is to corner him up there and see there he just does my job for me and all these little tricks they will give you an edge now I'm playing with 110 ping, so I'm going to have a little bit of visual artifacts here. Like there I jumped over uh, a lava pit that looked like I went into it. 
but I really didn't. That's just the way netcode and quite code works. But yeah, again, see that nail gun pack? I have 200 nails, so if I won't go over it, I won't pick it up. And if you have 200 nails, then you can go over here and surprise the opponent. Now, and I'm able to tell you this because the enemy is not too keen on this level. Alright, so he's going in here, so I can take my sweet time explaining this to you. Now let's see if I can corner him. Yep, there he is. And peekaboo, I see you. I'll give him the red armor, but once he comes out here, he is toast. Actually, I'm low on health, so I gotta be careful here. Now, in a, in a situation like that, you might think, oh, easy kill. But all contraire, because if he has red armor, and you have no rockets, and you're low on health, or even if you have one rocket, you can suicide. Or if you don't have any rockets, he can boomstick you to death. So you always gotta watch out. You know, people say that, oh, it's only the rocket launcher, oh, it's only the LG and Quake World. But all these other weapons, they do matter. Of course, the rocket launcher and the LG are what matters. It's, I'm not gonna BS you. They're the bread and butter. So you gotta be able to use them first and foremost. Of course, on this map, there is no LG. And it's actually the only map in the big five for dueling that doesn't have an LG. Now I heard the water sound, so see that water? That's where he spawned, and he's gonna be here somewhere. And there he is. Now, as I was telling, this is the area where spawn frags happen. Uh, there's two spawn frags, but there could have been a lot more. So I haven't really done since the beginning of the map, where I was down a couple frags, where I was taking some damage. I haven't done anything strategic here. And... I've only shown you a little tips and tricks. Now he should come out here somewhere. There he is. Ah, very good. He somehow knew that I was there. I, I guess because he heard me drop down. So I'm gonna retreat because I lost all my armor. He looks like he was out of ammo, but some people bait you with the shotgun when they're out of range. They will bait you with the shotgun when you come in for the kill. They will finish you off with the rocket. So you gotta be careful. And there's two two back rockets to seal the deal that time. He's gonna teleport out here. Where's he gonna go? He's gonna go for the mega health. Yep, there he is. So that's an old school trick that you wanna avoid. You don't wanna stand on that on that floating what is it? Floating thing? I don't know what it's called, but you wanna jump over it like this, and I almost messed it up. Just to avoid avoid getting fragged. Uh, again, I know he's going to teleport in there, I think. Another thing you can do, which actually John Romero used to do in his famous Mage vs. Skill Creek many, many years ago, is jump against it when it's going against you. So, right now, the opponent might think that you're going, but once it goes backwards, now that's the way you do it. And that, I mean, it might throw some people off. That's just an old school trick I wanted to show you. <laughs> oh, that was a close fight. I wasn't too much focused there, and he almost got me, actually. So as you can see, I'm not even bothering with the Mega, just because I have such a sizable lead, I don't really need to. Now, here's so you're gonna get a Mega, I think. Oh, I didn't even spawn. So I can jump here and grab it, now that it has spawned. Now, he's probably gonna go for the Secret Red Armor, which is here, or the exit for it is right there. Yep like a book and now I can wait for him to come out and he has no idea that I was waiting for him so he was caught off guard and there's really nothing he can do oh and oops so I can get a sly kill here can I? I'm gonna make him suicide even better and there's all kinds of speed tricks you can do on this map Oh, he doesn't even see me. No, no he does. There's all kinds of speed tricks, like if you want to go quickly from this position to the red armor, you can jump over. Oh, and I messed it up. Again, let's try it. Let's show you. 
The idea. No, I messed it up again. But there's all kinds of speed advantages you can do. So the final score is quite high, but I hope you enjoyed that and learned something from it, and I'll keep doing this in the future. See you on YouTube. GG.